here we are back in where we were a year ago, except it wasn't so um, warm Sunny. then. It wasn't so warm then, and, yeah. and it is now. But you know, here we are, and we've come so far to get to the point where we have press screenings, we have you know screenings of uh, the wonderful, inspired Living My Illusion. Um, but not just that, I mean, we were in New York. We were, oh, I love that place. We were in, in, New York. in New York. We, we actually launched the first press screening in New York, okay? Uh, now I remember, yes, not too long ago, I think it was a month ago. Absolutely, but a year ago, we were filming in here. I mean, that's how surreal this experience is and how fast you have transformed yeah. and pushing this forward because um, in the project you've been very determined to push this forward and what I admire you a lot about this it's the pain you had to go through that okay so but what was the moment when we were finally in New York you know and all those moments when you said few words when we did the press screen and when those people shared their experiences. I mean, this is the moment of creation. That's the, yeah, that's what it was all leading up to. And the, yeah, it's a lot of work that goes into anything. Yeah. Um, but there, when we were at this, the, the New York screening, it was like, what are they going to say? And I remember watching it. There were great guys, great, great guys who were, you know, doing, doing that. And it was just like, right, now I'm sitting down watching it with the audience. And it's like, okay, what are they, what's their feedback going to be? Uh, and it was maybe surprising, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, they were, they were, you know, they did say that yes, I, I had been brave to do what I to do what I did. That's what a lot of people do seem to uh, say. And maybe it was looking back. Yeah, there was things that I would never have spoken about if it wasn't if it wasn't for you in my yeah. life. Certainly, but it, you gave me that kind of, uh, you know. What is it? The green light card. Yeah. You gave me that, you know, that kind of freedom to be able to just share openly, not yeah. just with you, and but then take, take it, it to the extreme. Because if you're yeah. saying no, it's about sharing, it's about that, and then I guess went had to go one more, didn't I? And go, okay, yeah. let's make a full-blown documentary, and then that became a, a series. But um, I, hey, I love you. You know, when you love what you do, and the, you know, this is what you've helped me get to the bottom of. Um, but you know, for me, what was very amazing, it's when you took me to see the No Coward show. No Coward. Yeah, No Coward show, okay? Yes, do. And what was the name of the show? It wasn't Present Laughter. Present, Present Laughter! Laughter. Yeah. Yes, it was. I was just testing you in there. <laughs> but actually seeing the character in there, it was just literally me taking you through life moments and literally seeing that. And potentially co-creating the next project, which would be, imagine bringing this into... Yeah, theatre, it's very... Theater, uh, the hashtag loneliness and all the things we've written in the background, okay, mm -hmm. that no one knows. <laughs> there was, that play was very interesting because it was about an actor going through midlife crisis and the illusions that we, that we create, a yeah. very, very, you know, work that goes on forever. Uh, but imagine creating a dream to be on Broadway. I mean, this is what the scale of this mm -hmm. project it is, you know, taking you from a, being a very successful entrepreneur, okay? For most people, they create the success, they create the, on, the dreams they want. As you say, they create the house, they create the car, they, uh, the, the family, holidays, the holidays yeah. everything else. But you're actually following your dreams, you know? The real thing that really gives you buzz inside and you are prepared to go through those fears and through those low moments which I've experienced, okay? And still remain focused. I think, um, yeah, you know, by going in search of what I, what I love and investing in that is something completely different to buying, a, my, buying myself a Ferrari and getting that short-term high. And, uh, you know, that's, that can be wonderful and that can be achievement, but it's short-lived. This is a transition, which is, you know, what I've discovered on the journey with you is yeah. from doing um, a job which I'm, I love, but I'm not in love with, yeah. to doing the work of uh, being what my inner child has always wanted to do, to be creating uh, film, TV, and be uh, working in film and television. Top that up with what else I was looking for, which was bringing your work into that. And that's just like, Triple, triple win. <laughs> triple win. Yeah. I like that triple win situation when we create triple win situation. So one of the things uh, uh, when you look at the journey, okay, 
if somebody were to start, for instance, to work with me, okay, and they were where you were two years ago, and you're sitting in here with a complete product, okay, yeah, that is marketed in the world, you're sitting in here with having all the foundations of the Vantagram to take it to a whole new level, set up, the process is set up, your communication has changed with your customers, the kind of customers you are setting up, your family environment has changed. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like 360 degree transformation. So what one advice would you give to somebody old self from two years ago and then now, right now? Right, well, I mean, I can speak because I know working, what work, working with you is specifically about, but um, other coaches as well, I don't know, you know, I can't speak, I can't speak of, but if you know, we are here for a short time and you want to make the most of what you have of this, of this existence, this amazing existence. Why wouldn't you jump, uh, leap forward and go in search of your real dreams? That's what makes us, that's what makes us tick, tick. That's what makes us feel alive. And that was for me, um, you know, to be working in production. There's not a second of it that I don't love. Yeah. And then to be, uh, you know, even talking with you here on cameras about what we've achieved where I've come in the past two years, what's happened in the past two years is truly phenomenal. And this is the thing, the next two years of anyone's life does not have to be the same as the last two. Yeah. But most people will plod along and then by 10 years time, and they're saying, right, now I'm really committed to make the change. But what actions are they taking or what, what are they really doing to commit to making that change? Otherwise, the next 10 years yeah. is just going to be exactly the same as the last 10 years. But investing in you, investing in that coach, that, that genie, mm -hmm. Which is what you've turned out to be is just someone. Okay, so this is this is insane. I, you know, when I we were here, back yeah, okay. and it was like the things that I wrote down that I wanted to manifest. Yeah. What happened? And it was like in, it tick, was tick, tick, incredible tick. looking back. And then of course now you do it again. But actually understanding that having that guide is truly phenomenal. And I want to just want to reach out and let people know that you can do absolutely anything if you truly want to. But most people, I feel, and maybe this is coming from a place where. Um, I wouldn't have if I'd maybe known, yeah. you know, I, I just went ahead and did and, yeah. and did it and committed to that. But one thing which I noticed about you, okay, it's sort of throughout the journey, I never oh, yeah. pushed you like to do something for me, but you felt inspired. Yeah? You, you totally read the right. book about the wisdom and straight away you wanted to be yep. the voice for humanity of that. So how did you come to that, uh, breaking those boundaries? Because most people, because I'm an elite coach and there is that financial boundaries for a lot of people to have an expert like myself. So what is it, the process you went through to make the decision to actually invest the money, the time, the energy? On top of that, that invest in actually going into creating those products that bring this into the vision of one billion people. So, I mean, how did you make this decision? Because a lot of people, the first barrier will say, I don't have money. Yeah, and you know, that's a barrier that I've always just thought, well, um, the money will turn up. <laughs> and it does, but I had to do it. I just knew, and, I, and it's like when I came up with the idea of like, right, we're gonna make the documentary. And it wasn't like, okay, how much, how much is it going to cost? Is it going to cost 20, 30, 50, 100 grand? It was just like, yeah, the money will come. Um, and you know, now we've got to this point. And yes, no, it's, it's not easy. But because I just truly believed, and there was just a light that went on um, mm. that just said, okay, this is something that we can really do something with. And it's, it, is, it is just a dream come true to live this experience. Dream come true. Yeah. All they need is dreams and love. Tony J. Oh, of course, yeah. The genie. The genie. Yeah, yeah the genie, because that's, that, that's what I said. I said, okay, so is it, is it really like that? Is it anything that I ask for that it can manifest? And yes is, the, yes is the answer. Now, if people know that, wouldn't you want to um, invest in you? And this is the kind of message that I'm, I deliver to people is that, okay, I'm living proof that this works. I've even done tests. Okay. What's interesting for me and what's quite amazing is like six weeks ago we were in New York and now a week later I'll be with Timia, yeah. the other side of Living My Illusion, mm -hmm. to really present her in LA to the president there and people will be showing up to see the first press screening. That'll and be an interesting question to yes. as well, different. Correct. I mean, for me, it's the beauty about it. It's about two people coming together. And despite of your pain out there, you know, you both made a decision inside yourself 
to really share with the world, share being vulnerable. Yeah. Although the facade on the outside for most people, it's like you are, you have it all together. But it's sort of the beauty about seeing the two of you going through this journey is how, despite all the pain, I've taken you through processes where basically you're consistently upgrading your consciousness mm -hmm. and how you communicate with one another and how you can follow your dreams and still separate with love. Mm -hmm. um, it's, I don't think you know, anyone's ever done something like this. I um, think it's unique. And yeah, it's like the it wouldn't have been done without that you know having you as a guide it, it just it, you know it would have uh, been a very different uh, yeah i mean type do you know people thing, who have gone through that and how much it cost them absolutely um it, you know these uh, type of events um it, it's not the financial cost it's the emotional um mm -hmm. cost i've spoken to people who have gone through these type of things yeah. and it's like uh, you know 10 years later the pain um, and you know it just continues and lives on and the blame the yep. pain and the blame game but uh, you know this is about the what what can also be achieved from yep. from I mean, going for, through for this, me this kind of a journey um, when I met you and seeing those uh, midlife crises that you're actually going through having been on multiple midlife crises myself it's quite astonishing to see the transformation that is happening in the background and you're still going through that healing journey. But mm -hmm. there are seven, eight billion people out there who go in that. And you had the courage to hire an expert, not only to help you, but to help the people you love most. Because as we went through the journey, you became extremely aware of the impact this has on them, on mental, emotional, their health. And actually, I, you mentioned that in New York, how you hired a coach to save your wife's life. You know, that's not many people have the courage that because the first thing they would do is they will judge the man for living, you know, a healthy marriage, what most people perceive it, but they don't really know what's people inside. Will think I'm, people think right. I, I've lost the plot. But then again, when you really take the whole thing and as people see the different series, the documentary series, they will see a very different kind of Joel, the, the Joel who is very kind, very compassionate, and the Joel who's actually doing that, not just only for himself, but for the people he truly loves. But then he takes it an extra step higher. Okay, he does it for the person like me, who's actually helping him from the journey. But then he takes it another step and he takes it to humanity. Okay, this is, so, this yeah. is extraordinary on its own. Yeah, I mean that's not something I, you know, consciously look at. I, but um, it is, uh, it is, you know, something that I will always think, wow, uh, and look back on and think, okay. Are you excited about uh, one, the twelfth of July? Because all of those dates are actually very significant. Are they? I <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking, thinking that, yeah, what are, is with these dates? <laughs> yeah, what are with these dates? Because we have some significant dates since I've met you. And uh, oh, this yeah. is the first time the documentary I'm bringing together both you and Timia under one roof, sharing that experience with the world. Well, it's very interesting that it was me with you in New York, Timia with you in, in Hollywood. LA, yeah. In Hollywood. I mean, we're going to be in Hollywood, okay? And, um, and then both of us in London on the on the 12th of July. Yeah. So, I, yeah, to be honest, yeah, I'm nervous. I'm a bit, you know, I don't know what people are going to ask me and I don't know what I'm going to say. Um, but at the same time, there is an element of excitement. There is an element of accomplishment. Um, and... Uh, you know, yeah, it's um, bringing that to bring this message to the world as well. Um, to me, is you know extremely amazing and brave, uh, and you know we'll be there together Fantastic. with you as well. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's all three of us in the one and room. Yeah, <laughs> that's going to be a party. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Two screenings in one night. Yeah. Two screenings oh, in one be, night. Yeah. Some amazing people are coming through. You know, we're getting some press. We're getting friends, family, we're getting clients, we're getting people who are really drawn into it. And where is the next one? Well, I mean, I, I, is, is, it, is this one going to turn? I bet I'm pretty confident this is going to turn into uh, six immediately. Um, and there is, of course, the, the Menorca filming. Yeah. And, uh, you know, which we'd like to do this year. Um, 
is that that's the thing on the wish list, isn't it? Well, we haven't discussed the new wish list. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but to keep making to keep making uh, more and more inspirational works and with other clients as well, it just leads on and on and on. That's something that I did not expect to happen when saying, "Okay, Tony, help me with business. Help me with you personal." You sound like okay, Google. So now it's okay, Tony. So you could suggest that to Google, change yeah. it to, okay, Tony. I want the, you know, how, I want how, this. Does, how does this happen? And then it takes you, it and it takes you, you on a, it takes you on a journey. Yeah. Um, but you know, yeah, it, it's something that I don't think, and I think working with all of your client, clients, they experience revelations and then you end up writing books with them. We got a book series, which I've already started. And um, you have, yeah, it's cheating. Yeah. <laughs> I even wrote that as well. Um, uh. The He's cheating, Tony yeah. just in here. <laughs> but you know, it's 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 magnificent. For for me it's living my living the dream that I always wanted to do, being creative. And even though there is challenge that comes with that, there's the other there's the other side, the brilliance of the work that we create and I I love every minute of that. I love every minute of that. And with that we're gonna say thank you and I love you. Thank you.